point and figure charts focus on changes in the price of a stock. With point and figure charts, we have zeros and x's. Zeros represent a decrease in price and x's represent an increase in price. An addition is made to a chart in the form of a zero or x when there is a change in price. So the question becomes, what is a change in price that justifies the addition of a zero or an X? And the answer is that the stock price needs to change by a box size. Now for a typical stock that is somewhere in the $10 to $90 range, a common box size is $1. Sometimes the box size can also be defined as $2, but let's just assume that we are working with a box size of $1. Now this first column shows several decreases in price. So we might start out at 20 and every time the stock goes down by at least one dollar we add another zero or circle. Now we can define a change of price based on end of day prices or we can define based on highs and lows. The more common technique is to consider end of day prices. So here over several days the stock price went down. If on a given day the stock price doesn't change much or it doesn't change by at least one dollar then no addition is made to the chart. So we can't tell how long this exercise took. This downtrend we don't know how long it took therefore the x-axis doesn't really represent time. If there is a reversal then we add a new column. Now a reversal has to be defined and in our case when the box size is 1 typically a reversal size is 3. So here we are saying that the stock came down to 15 over a certain period of time and then let's say there was a reversal of 3. So from 15 the stock price went up to 18. So when the stock was coming down a reversal means that the stock is now going up and if the reversal is of $3 or more we add this new column. Now since the reversal was $3 and we are up to 18 and each box size represents $1 so this is 15 this would be 16, 17, 18 so we would add this x, this x and this x and then the next day let's say the stock price stays at 18 there will be no addition. The day after that if the stock price goes up to 19 then we would add this x. And that's how we continue. Notice that when we go from one column to another, we add the first x over here. And in this case, since the reversal was 3, we add this x as well as two more x's. Then we get up to 20 and this might take several days. After that, let's say there's another reversal and from 20, we come down by 3 to 17. Then we shift over. Our first entry is 1 down so we are over here. Since this is 20 we will add this which represents 19, this represents 18, this represents 17. So when there is a reversal of 3 now the reversal means that the stock is going down. We will come down to 17. In this particular case once we come down to 17 we might stay here for a while in which case no additions are made and then we had uh, another reversal where the stock price then started going up and then we added this particular column. So notice that the x-axis then really represents the number of changes in direction. This is loosely related to time because changes in direction happen over time. It's just not continuous time over here. So hopefully that clarifies how point and figure charts work.